The pivot tool is an omniverse extension which allows you to easily add and edit pivots on objects and also remove pivots from objects. And you can find the extension in the extensions registry under pivot tool. So once you have enabled it and you go to main menu tools and click on pivot, you will get this interface for the pivot tool. And in order to showcase its main features, I've prepared this little scene here, which I'm generally happy with, but I want to make some adjustments to, and the pivot tool can help me with that. So the first thing I want to do is change the orientation of this lamp. I like where it sits next to the wall, but I feel like it's rotated in a not ideal way. So I can use the pivot tool once I select the hierarchy to add a pivot to it, which will now enable these three XYZ sliders. And the way these work is they show the position of the pivot relative to the combined bounding box of the hierarchy, which I currently have selected. So in this case, the combined bounding box includes everything inside the arc floor lamp. So now I can use the slider to easily move the pivot to a point where it makes it more ideal to rotate the lamp. So in this case, I feel like this works better. And I can do the same thing pretty much with the, the frame picture here on the wall, which again, I like where it sits, but it's tilted. So what we want to do is add a pivot. And then with the slider here, we can move the pivot point to probably where the, the nail would be sitting. And now I can zero out the rotation and it will happen around this point here. So the wall looks pretty good, I think. But this table here should be able to host a few more people. So what I can do here is I can grab the chair. I can move it closer to the table here, like this. And I can use this uh, additional feature on the pivot tool, world position to pivot, which allows me to pick any prim in my scene, either in the viewport or in the hierarchy. And what it will do is it will try to now set the pivot on my currently selected object or objects to this world position. Now, in this case, it didn't work because I had not yet added a pivot to the chair. So I'll try this again. First, I will add a pivot, which will show up here in the, in the transform view, the transform properties. And now I can try again. If I pick a source, now it, it works. So we see that I still have the chair selected, but the pivot point is now on the table. And now I can easily duplicate this chair and just rotate it around a bunch of times. So I feel like maybe six chairs. That looks good to me. So yeah, this is the pivot tool in a nutshell. And you can find more information about it in the Omniverse documentation under pivot tool.